All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more. The world ends with you. Last time we finished up day six. This time, the episode. It's the end. It's time to finish up the week. The Reaper's game will end here. Day seven. Simple enough. And we got 10 whole hours. It's time to kick some ass and take some names. Well, one name. Huh? What have we here? I didn't even know we got service here. Uh-oh. So how do we know for sure he wasn't deleted? Or erased. Well, deleted, erased. Same big... Same meaning, really. That's not good. Well, you're the one telling us to panic. Alright, sounds like we got our plan for the day. Well, we knew this guy wasn't exactly stable. Anyway, there's things we can do beforehand, so let's do them. Reaper review! Oh yeah, that place. Totally. Now, you could actually go there and learn all this stuff, or you could uh, stare at a guide and see exactly uh, what we need to do. Well, that's simple. We just have to slash Neku. We haven't used that pin, but that's what you have to do. And the answer is Hip Snake, which for some reason is a hilarious name to me. Da 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 da! Gullion, for that we get a thousand yen and sweet, sweet onions. Good, tasty onions. But yeah, there's a couple things we can do here before we actually finish day seven, so I'd like to do that because this is going to be our, uh, our last chance to do a little grinding that I want to do. Am I going the right way? I feel like I am. Because there's one piggy here we gotta get. Okay, yeah. Took a little, uh... Probably took the longer route around, but, uh, we did it, so that's all that matters. Join me, Piggy! Oh god, I still have the red skull pin on. God, I should probably optimize my pins. I would have fought the fucking Game Master with that thing on. Anyway, we get rare metal for that. Not too bad, not too bad. So, uh, let's rearrange our pin setup because wowzers. Uh, Red Skull is not your friend. I don't need force rounds. Do I have. I have Happy Beam, yeah? Okay, guess I don't. That is going to be part of the uh, grinding we're going to be doing from here on out, so, uh... I'll just have to keep that in mind. What thing did I have on before? Did I just not master it? Was that the thing? Our Kinesis, Love Me Tether. 
Thunderbolts. I guess it was Ice Blair. Put that back on. Alright, well, let's head back to Shibuya Square and to the statue of Hachiko so we can actually go to Kurakura Kura and uh, advance what we need to do. But before that. Welcome. Hey, I can eat sweet, sweet onions now. I have the cash for more ginseng, not bad. So, let's buy some more ginseng. I know there's a way to, uh... Much yeah, I bought something from you, shut the hell up. I know there's gotta be a way to get him to sell the item I want, but I'm not sure if it's until later? distinctly remember doing it on uh, around this time, but you know. So anyway, while we're here, let's uh, it's pop some ginseng in our mouth and get some more HP. Ah, oh, really? That's annoying. I wish the Reaper review would remember me. Anyway, check out Kura Kura. Hi there. That's the one where we have the slash, huh? Yep, so, uh... Oh, man, we barely have enough money for that. Maybe I shouldn't have bought that ginseng. What does that do? Slightly reduces... Uh... It's a little scary for me. Right, let's see what these all do. Uh, higher HP, bleh. Shape of a staff, bleh. Come back soon. Sunshine. Think, come again. <laughs> yeah, you like how we don't buy anything. Good day. Thank you very much. Your taste is impeccable. I mean, I didn't buy them, but thank you for the compliment. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think we don't need to worry about that. Don't really need to worry about that. That, however, sounds amazing. Else, oh man, those stats are really good too. To your next visit. Oh well, nothing really we can do about that. Anyway, so one thing we're gonna have to do is evolve uh, that cutie beam pin we just bought. So I'm going to take the opportunity to do some grinding now and uh, or happy beam rather. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to grind this out. I'll show you one battle to show you how it, you know, works, but after that, I will handle all this off screen. So it's like this. Oh, uh, well. Get rid of our Moss Immune charges. Yeah, not really the best, but it's, uh, it's satisfactory. I don't particularly like it. But anyway, I will uh, see you all in just a little bit. Alright, and uh, welcome back. Let me let me get comfortable real quick. Alright, cool. So uh, I did all the grinding I needed to do. Did a lot of battle grinding. Also did the uh, shutdown and advance the game's clock a week. Or the DS's clock a week, rather. And a lot of my pin, not just the acuity beam, which became the uh, natural magnum. But, uh... My ice shooty booty evolved, so now it's like three times as good. And my Masa Mune evolved, which like doubled its power. With no real negative downside. And I also got Lovely Beam, which is a stronger version of the other force round I had. Which was either Happy Beam or Cutie Beam, I forget which is which. They're all beams with funny names. And the whole reason we did that is the natural magnum. Ha! And I... I mean, I kept it around, but I never really used it because slashing horizontally across Neku with all my other pins just resulted in me using other pins instead. Which is kind of an issue with the game's battle system, but... It is what it is. Anyway, so I also bought a shit ton of uh, Ginseng in order to try to get uh, the item I really want, but... 
we don't need it for now, so we'll just worry about it later. I also got a shit ton of pins, which I could sell for money. They dropped so many natural magnums in, uh, not natural magnums. A lot of pins that you could just straight up sell. Was it this place that I wanted to come? Your taste is impeccable. It was for the Flamaria studs, yeah? I needed chandelier dangles. Thank you very much. Where does one obtain a chandelier dangle? Your taste is impeccable. Okay, apparently get it here. I don't know what it do, but uh let's buy one. Which means now we can make the Plumeria studs. I look forward Which to ought to be really good for Shiki. Also, if you're here, be sure to go to Accessory Heaven Kurakura and buy yourself some uh, funky shades. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool. Buy yourself some funky shades. I did that off screen. So let's equip our new thing onto Shiki and then save because the game froze like three times getting here. Was it the ribbon bonnet? matter because this is like what is it the waste pack so it was uh hmm that eh, shouldn't be too much of an issue see this is god damn bought all my shit for the head i really just bought everything for shiki i didn't really buy anything for neku yet huh that yeah, is what it is so we'll save real quick, even though I don't usually like to do that, but I've already saved a bunch of times, so if this fucks up, it fucks up, and I have to restart the entire game, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, ooh, I should probably get my HP back up, too. Yeah, I got, like, three levels from all that grinding, so I'm gonna keep myself at level 10. We'll get more pins, but the lowered HP is for balancing. I can do that. I mean, I did that like a thousand times already, but, uh, whatever, I'll do it another time. Open up your senses. I probably should have talked to this guy before I did all that grinding, huh? Cause the issue is, is I can get... Aha, perfect. Did it not count that third one? That's gonna be really annoying. Watch yourself. As you can see, that is fucking brokenly good. And this is really good for crowd control, but it doesn't really do enough knockback. I mean, it's all piercing, so it's fantastic, but if something's coming at you, I want to force around to stop them, you know? Oh, well. Oh, crap. Stop paying attention for a second, and before I knew it, there was a big scary man on top of me about to hit me. Yeah, so it's a really cool setup that we got here. That one pin alone is going to uh, pretty much save our life. Because I didn't- I've never evolved the ice blow pin, so it's really cool. Oh my god, that one didn't count! Well, that's bullshit. Uh, he said he didn't care where we fought it, so you can show off why we bought those funky shades and get something new in the meantime. What's up, Buckarino? Got him, bitch. I'm sorry, that was rude. And we got some choice meat. Not bad, not bad. So let's get us a three battle reduction and make sure they're close so we don't have to deal with that again. Wonderful. Yeah, the game is very easy to break, so long as you, uh... It's not even all just, like, grinding. The grinding definitely helps, but... Once you get a pin set up you're really comfortable with, it's pretty easy to get the hang of things. What makes it even better is when you get the hang of things. And you grind. And get the hang of both screens at once. You see, that's what I was trying to use the uh, natural magnum there, but I ended up using the ice riser or whatever it's called. 
The level three, or the Evolve Pin has a different name than the standard Ice Blow. I swear it's Ice Riser, but I could be wrong. Yeah, see, look at that. If all three of those hit, it's just 200 damage straight up. And if you make it like a really popular pin brand, it's even better. Alright, so now that I've leveled up, I can uh, it's edible. eat more ginseng. By the way, Shiki loves ginseng. She says it's delicious. Have I ever had ginseng? Yeah. I've had it mixed in with like other like drinks. Doesn't like uh one of the Mountain Dew brands have ginseng in it? Anyway, I want the lovely bean or lovely beam rather. Because I like force rounds, so I'll stick with that instead. I should probably buy some new threads for Neku, but I'm not really worried about that because I think I'm strong enough as is. Alright, Bucko, let me in. Hey, not bad. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm just gonna uh, go straight into this, huh? Eh, this shouldn't be an issue. It's just two Decadravens. Of course, landing a blow on them is kind of difficult, but... Oh god. Yeah, it's a little midday boss. Uh... Oh my lord. I'm gonna see if I can get a level 2 shot going on him while I can. I mean, we're hitting him pretty damn hard. He's coming on my end. Uh, that didn't really work out as well as I hoped. Alright, I got my pin. All right, I think I got a good hit on him. All right, when he comes by, I'm going to slam him with that. Okay, when's he on Shiki's... All right, I was hoping he would come up on Shiki's screen, which is my whole plan there. Whoa, Christ, I didn't know that was coming. I got to put a cure drink up. Fuck the force rounds. I forgot I had the force around, but I probably be using those. See, there were most of his HP. And there goes the rest of it. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take the force rounds off and put the cure drink on because, uh,. Kinda easy to get chained when you're not expecting it, huh? Hey, not bad, not bad. And we get Meteor Magnet, which is kinda like that attack that we just got hit with, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Oh, the game froze again, goddamn. Yeah, but there's the two who are going for your game, Master. Maybe you should work at me. Huh? Oh shit, Beat, are you going right for them? I assume that was you. Haha! -ha! I knew you're yo. I don't think there's anyone packless running around after day one. What? What's your game plan, Beat?
I mean, it is day seven. There's no laws against that. That's why I like Korea. Korea. I don't know how to put the uh, emphasis on it. The hell could he have meant by that? Uh, anyway, let's get a cure drink on because I don't want to worry about getting smeared. Save one more time because I'm sick of the game freezing. I'd buy a new cart, but that's 20 bucks I don't have. And I don't know if it's the cart or the 3DS in general. Or playing just just playing DS games on the on a 3DS. With how much I shake the 3DS play and this is probably shaking it loose. I have the same issue when I play uh, Game Boy games on an SP. Or my SP rather. It's been a fun ride, hasn't it? Or fun isn't really the operative word, but it has been a time. Yeah, it is. Friends to the end, eh? Alright, this is your last chance to go back, do any grind you need to do, anything you absolutely need to do, do it now. I'm gonna put all my HP up, just in case. And your last chance to save, so, uh, if you think you're ready, go on ahead. We're not late. Nice comeback, Shiki. That's right. <laughs> You're goddamn right, Shiki. Toothsome is such a weird word. Time for a taste test. Stop attacking because he's just going to absorb it. Time for a taste test. Uh, turning Cheeky's thing into a lance right here might not be a bad idea. This is that I, I learned about that whole scenario because of a gameplay video I watched of this because I like uh, this version of Twister. Of course, you wouldn't know because I'm talking over it, but. I'll count you. I'll count you. 
I was a little worried I wasn't going to make it there. Because I was looking at his HP and I'm thinking, oh god, it's rapidly dwindling, but that's a hit. And that's also why I put uh, this Japanese version of Twister onto my uh, Wonder Snake cooking video. Welcome to my kitchen. And that's it. We got our day Scarletite. And Earthshake, which is a fun pin. A little weird to get it at the end of the game, but... Oh, you're still standing. Hey, buddy. And there he goes. <gasps> I'm going to assume this is our coming back to life juice. A nice warming light, you could say. Yeah. Well, time to go hang out with Shiki and beat and uh uh oh well you didn't think it was that easy, right, viewers? Come on. Yep, there is still plenty more game to go, so... Thank you all for joining me for the end of week one. And we'll see you next time at the beginning of week two.